Hello and welcome to another Digimedia Dude short tutorial. I'm Marcelo Lewin, the Digimedia Dude. So what am I holding right here? I got a new Logitech G105 keyboard. Now I just upgraded my Mac keyboard because I wanted one where I can do macros. And this one allows me to do macros. Actually, on my future video, I will be reviewing the G710 Plus, which is the one that I actually ended up upgrading to. But right now I'm holding the G105 right here. But this video, I'm going to show you how to map your Windows and your Alt keys to the Mac option and command keys because they're in opposite places. So for example, in, on Windows, you have the Alt key right next to the spacebar. Now the Alt key is actually the option key in the Mac, which is in the middle. And then you have the Windows key right next to the Alt key in PC, but on the Mac, the option key is what's being used as a Windows key. So we have to swap those around. And I'll show you how to do that really easily in Mac OS X. So let's get to it. Here we are on my desktop and I'm gonna to go to System Preferences. And then I'm going to go into Keyboard. And then you're gonna see Modifier Keys. And then under Select Keyboard, make sure you select your new PC keyboard. In my case, it's the Gaming Keyboard G105. So I'm gonna select that. And then the two keys you want to swap are the Option and Command. The Alt key on a PC keyboard is in the same location as the Command key on a Mac keyboard. So what you wanna do is you wanna say the Option or the Alt maps to the Command. And then you wanna say the Command, which is the Windows key on a PC, will map to the Option key of the map. Once you do that, now your Alt key, which is closest to the space bar, which is in the same location as the Command key on a Mac, will map to the correct key. And then the Command key, which is the Windows key, which is next to the Alt key on a PC, will map to the Option key, which is the middle one, just like it is in the Mac keyboard. I know this was just a little bit confusing, but once you do this, you click on OK, you close your system preferences, and then your PC keyboard will work on your Mac just like your Mac keyboard. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode and that you're ready to use your new PC keyboard on the Mac. If you did enjoy it, remember to click on the thumbs up button. I would really appreciate that. And also remember to subscribe to my channel, Digimedia Dude, or click on the subscribe button in this video. Also, if you have any comments, questions, or opinions, please remember to post them right below. I really want to hear from you. So until the next episode, I am the Digimedia Dude. Cheers, everybody.